Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. That is the sound of theater, folks, warming up for a performance. And today, we're looking ahead to Nanaimo Fringe Festival 2014. Nanaimo Loaves and Fishes reaching out to the community, discovering new frontiers in art and go higher as a practical nurse. This is Chelsea Damon. She's the producer of Nanaimo Fringe Festival 2014, descending upon our harbor city August 14th through the 24th. Now, can you believe that there are still some people out there who don't know what a fringe is? No. It's true. Let's enlighten them. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, fringe is a really exciting type of festival where the artists are chosen by lottery and uh, we cover a lot of the financial and administrative weight of putting on a show so that they can just get on stage and do what they love. And what is the value of choosing by lottery? It, so, it sort of means that you, you're not jurying the productions. That's right. Anything goes. So it's not up to our personal taste or whether the sponsors are offended by something. It's not who you know. It's not how long you've been around. Anybody can apply. Anybody has the possibility of getting in. And who, who does it? Who are the performers and the artists and the theater companies that see the value in performing in this type of format? Well, there's a lot of people who tour the fringe circuit for a living, and Canada has a thriving circuit, and international artists come every summer to travel from Montreal to Vancouver uh, all through the summer, and we get that wave of artists headed our way, and they often apply to come to Nanaimo because we have a fringe festival. Excellent. It's kind of a launching pad sometimes. You'll see the seed of a production. In, in fringe style and then maybe five six years down the road it, it's grown it's yeah. almost a workshopping venue it's a great supportive environment to experiment and try new things and get some feedback from other artists because you're all there together participating in this great big event and from an audience's perspective it's all short length right it's all like 45 minutes to an hour usually no intermission there's no intermission they tend to run 60 minutes and okay. uh, we've got one that runs 85 so some of them are a little bit longer yeah so it's kind of like purging like instead of purging on on your series you purge on fringe you can catch them all yes. and and you're not investing a ton of time no. or a ton of money not a ton of money it's 10 to 14 dollars per show that's decided by the artists and the artists get all of the money Excellent. Okay, we're going to look more specifically at what's in store for this year's A Fringe Festival starting, easy for me to say, starting on August the 14th. Now, while the shelves at Nanaimo Loaves and Fishes may be full of food, they still have a pretty desperate need. Here's Kelly Robinson. Come on, Jodell, you're not the type to go around showing any skin. Your square friends would kick you out of the club. You know, I'm so hating that square label. You asked for an explanation. A lot of the girls, like Georgia, are total exhibitionists, and I'm not about to stop them. You don't find that sort of behavior disturbing? They're girls. They get a thrill out of it. It's something you'd never understand. I'm not going to stop watching or even encouraging them in my own subtle way. Hey, I'm not a homo. Oh, I'm sure you prefer gay, but I'm obviously not going to... What the hell? Well... What are you doing? You said you couldn't imagine it. Huh? Can you imagine it now? What? I don't know. Me, with my boobs hanging down. Yours? You mean... bear? Yes, mine. Okay, before we actually get to the bear part, <laughs> it is a family show. This is a little scene from the production Square, Schmooze Productions, part of the fringe that's coming up. What's the plot line? What's happening? Well, Gary and I play two characters who have known each other since they were kids, but they've never, ever talked before. And my character has always hated that, so one night she decides that they are going to talk, and this is what happens. Okay. <laughs> now, there is full nudity uh, on both parts yep. in this show. Very much so. <laughs> okay. Very risky. You guys had your internal battles, I guess, or whatever, to choose to do it. At what point is, is it gratuitous to sort of have nudity in theater? Is it necessary, do well, you think? That's a question that I think the play asks of itself. Like part, part of the story is, what can I do to get him to listen to me? Right. Um, so rather than the nudity being distraction, for me, it's about taking the mystery away, and that way he's able to focus, actually. Do you think that it's that much of a distraction? From a guy's perspective, you, you're distracted by a woman's sexuality until you can actually see what's under the clothes? Uh, yeah, I think sometimes <laughs> it is, for sure. When I'm talking to girls, I often 
you just, I mean, it's an undeniable thing when you're interacting with someone who you are attracted to, at least a little bit physically, there's always just a different way of interacting with people than you would with, like, for me, another guy. Right. Do you think this is the way to deal with it? Let's just all get naked. You know what? <laughs> In a perfect world, yes. <laughs> Let's all get naked. Sounds like a play that's going to open up a lot of conversation. You can catch it as part of the Nanaimo Fringe Festival 2014, August 14th to 24th. We'll be back with more after a short break, and we will be clothed. I can promise you that. <laughs> Still to come today, a new creative frontier for a local artist, a look at the nursing industry in BC, and moving forward on a new hotel in Nanaimo. You call me stupid. I'm calling you crazy. Crazy! But what you don't know is I'm crazy too. Yeah, you don't know me. I could do anything. I did something so awful I ain't even gonna tell you what. Cause if I did, you wouldn't even look at me. Bonnie Catterson is the director of Danny in the Deep Blue Sea. We just saw the end scene. That's all we can show you. <laughs> Why? Well, <laughs> it, there's a lot of colorful language, uh, a lot of swearing, and it's pretty hardcore. So we wouldn't want any younger viewers to, you know, be shocked by that. Yeah. It's a pretty shocking play. And what is the premise of it? The premise is two strangers come into a bar one night. They're both seeking redemption. They're both feeling lost and lonely and desperate. And they meet, and in each other, they see a reflection of each other. And it actually is a very funny play and a beautiful love story. But it's also incredibly dark and uh, Is it intense. hard to get at that, at that tenderness? Because it does seem so hard. You know what? These actors just did such an amazing job. We had the luxury of working on this over a long period of time. So they really were able to examine those characters. And we really did a lot of research and delving into it and working on their intimacy. And no, they haven't had any problem hitting both the intimacy and the violence. Okay. Because there is a lot of violence in it as well. Right. Now, you, the playwright you mentioned is John one of your Patrick favorite. Shanley, my absolute favorite. You know, last year we did Savage and Limbo for Western Edge Theatre. Um, and I would like to do another play by him. He's just the most genius writer, modern day Shakespeare. What do you like about him so much? Uh, he is just so brutally honest. And his writing is like poetry but spoken in real language. Why do you think it's important for an audience to feel uncomfortable? I think it's important for an audience to feel uncomfortable because I think it's important for us to look at ourselves and look at humanity in an honest way, and I think that's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that it, it forces us to ask questions about ourselves and, and how we connect and, and why our judgments. we connect. What do we and think about these characters up here? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we have a total hood like a hood rat, a very violent man, and we have a woman who, you know, I don't want to delve too much, but she's a damaged woman. Um, you know, she's what you would call, uh, you know, she's gotten around in her life. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it's amazing watching their redemption. Okay, and you can watch that redemption for yourself, all part of the Nanaimo Fringe Festival coming to the Harbor City August 14th through the 24th. Moving on to another form of art now, a local artist is discovering a new frontier of creativity through technology. Here's Rayanne LaPlante. You can get more information on Brian's work, brianmiddleton.ca. Now, we've had a quick look at Square. We've had a quick look at Danny in the Deep Blue Sea. We're going to look at Muse later. That's only three out of eight performances this year. Yes. What else uh, we got? Well, uh, from Victoria, we have a family-friendly show. It's <gasps> called Dan Family Friendly at Fringe. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's called Dancing with Fish, and it's about friendship. It looks really fun. Uh, we've also got the Sucker Punch from Vancouver. It's about a device that allows you to travel back in time five seconds. Cool. Yes. Kind of like Snapchat or something. Yeah. Uh, when the stars is when the stars are right is an Nanaimo show, and uh, that's about a writer whose world is turned upside down when a new neighbor moves in next door. Okay. So I mean, I think we can all relate to. Uh, and you haven't seen any of these. I have not. Okay, it's just it's, lottery. It's totally unexpected. Okay. It's going to be good. It's All exciting. Right. Let's uh, not miss anybody. From Hollywood, we've got Christmas in Bakersfield. It's an autobiographical comedy about a gentleman who goes home to meet his boyfriend's family for the first time, and they don't know he's black. Okay. And finally, we have stand-up comedy from Wales, and that's called Stickman.
Excellent. Thank you. Looks a great lineup. NanaimoFringe.com or .ca. Com. .com for more details. And uh, we're going to be back after a short break. You're watching Go Island. We're continuing with our own personalized sneak peek of the upcoming Nanaimo Fringe Festival. Here is Muse from In Other Words Theatre. She's wrong. It's only 10 minutes after 8. Heather is just late. Heather wouldn't leave. Where would she go? It's Friday. We go to Walmart on Fridays and the Big Mac counter and I get a Big Mac, large ice, large Coke, large Oreo McFlurry for breakfast. $12.90, $12.90. And just one McDonald's cashier, we're not allowed to go through the Walmart cashier since. <laughs> the feathers were floating all over the cashiers and they were running around trying to stuff them back into the pillar of plastic bags and some of them were sneezing. Little kids were running around chasing them and a couple of old people were laughing and the store manager's face went really, really bright red and he ran into a cashier and went head first into the pillow and Heather said that maybe we could use the pillows from here instead. Heather. Heather snuck us up to the roof to listen to the stars, the music of the stars. They sounded like ice cubes. Crack, crack. And she brought her guitar, and she brought us Madeline, and we played right there with the music of the stars. Heather and Madeline and us. I am an orphan on God's highway. Share my troubles if you go my way. That was our first lesson in speaking, Madeline. Now she talks to us all the time. We don't know how to talk to people, but we can talk to Madeline and she can talk to us. There's a lot of crazy people here. And I've always said that crazy people are always the funnest. And I think I will venture to say that Fringe is kind of a celebration of creative theatrical craziness. Fringe Festival here in Nanaimo, August 14th until the 24th. You can get full details online. Muse from In Other Words Theater runs for six performances, as do all of the featured acts in this year's lineup. We're gonna have a little look at some more, as many as we can before our time is up to date, but we're heading over now to a new section that we call Go Higher with Dunya Tozzi. Nanaimo Fringe Festival running, as I've said, August 14th to 24th. Best in for way to get more information, NanaimoFringe.com. You can pick up programs at Blends Coffee in Woodgrove and Fascinating Rhythm downtown Nanaimo. One of the things you're going to find in there, besides time and location for all the performances, is a preview night. You can get a little excerpt from every single one of the 10 performances. Harbor City Theater right here Wednesday, August the 13th. And then there's a design jam party, which is another free event, but you need to pre-register. Best place, as I've said, is go online to get more details and plan your fringing adventure for 2014. Finally, before we go today... One, two, three... three. Hey. There was excitement in downtown Nanaimo on Wednesday. The Nanaimo Economic Development Corporation hosted a groundbreaking ceremony by cutting a ribbon at the site where the new SSS Manhau Hotel will be built. City officials and hotel representatives, along with Sunemo First Nation, tourism in Nanaimo, and other community leaders, turned out to show their support for the project. Completion of that project is scheduled for the end of 2015. I'm out of time and then some. Thanks for watching Go. We'll see you next time.
Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Center, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.